Hello and a long time no see on this channel. Today I am in my closet so that way I can go through all of the baby stuff I have gotten so far and go through and organize everything and figure out what I have and what I still need. And I figured I would take you guys along with me. Three to six. Okay, so off camera, I just put all of the clothes that I have for her and put them in a pile by her size. So I will show you what that looks like. But also, I went to I also went to Target and I got a couple of these little baskets. So I have two in the small size and then I have two big ones for up here. And then here is all of her clothes in a pile. So this is her newborn section. So these are all of her newborn onesies. Hey, this isn't about you. So these are all of her newborn onesies. I think I have quite a few, but you know, babies have blowouts. And then you always gotta have like a pack of just some basic white ones. And then these would be all of her pants and the newborn size and then we got about four swaddles and three towels and these are the necessities she'll need for a little while so these are all of her pjs and they're all about three months and up so i'm gonna have to pick up just a couple of zero to three pjs i want to do some of the gowns and i don't have any of those then this is three months pile and then the rest of my three months or actually I'll hunt up and down here we got a lot of um, three to six months clothes these are strictly just like six months so three to six six months zero to three and then she's got a lot of pants in the six month size so I'm pretty set on clothes for a little while I'll all I need to really get are some more um, gowns for her to sleep in just in case she doesn't like the swaddling i kind of just want to have a couple different range of sleeping stuff for her and then sh i would love to pick up some more just shorts for her um it's going to be really hot when she's first here uh she's a summer baby so and it's florida it's hot all the time so she's got a lot of just like tank top type onesies and i just want a couple pair of shorts in case I am like out somewhere with her and it's like cold or anything like that so I need some more shorts and then I'd say that's pretty good as far as clothes goes I live in Florida and you know you can't not live in Florida and not have Disney stuff but it's really Disney doesn't really sell um like baby clothes so these are all like big size for her um, this is a Disney outfit, got like a little peanut, got this cute little mini mouse set, it comes with a matching bow, then we got a Snow White with the matching bow, and then she can be Cinderella, and then this is just hanged up for now is all of her zero to three stuff and then the other stuff that so we got like a couple shirts a cute little like this is my favorite outfit i think and we got it's more and then here is another disney one it's a mini mouse outfit it comes with a matching bow and shorts somewhere around here Okay, so this will definitely have to be a two-day video because I thought these little bins and then hanging everything else up would be enough. And as I'm going through everything and putting it away, um, it is not. And I'm definitely going to need another plastic dresser. So I have this plastic dresser that I use for my that have like my clothes in it and I'm gonna get one more of those and put it next for next to it so I'll have to like
do something different with my shoes. So I will put all of these clothes in there, but for now I'm just going to put them in here until I can get a plastic dresser to put them in. So in this pile, um, these are all of her socks, and this is a lot of bows. And I should say, um, I come from a big family, so all of those socks and about 95% of those bows are hand-me-downs. And, um, and a lot of her clothes that I do have are hand-me-downs as well. I have this little gray basket, and I'm going to put all of her socks and bows in here, I think. I just hope she likes bows. Um, the family member who I got them from, their these are pins. Their baby didn't like bows, so that's why I have so many of them. Okay, so here is socks and bows. I will probably get one of those little like in between divider things, so it's easier to look at. Cause obviously this looks messy, but it's just one side socks, one side bows. So now I'm going to put the rest of her clothes as much as I can fit into here on in these two big ones. Um, I need to wash everything still, so I will start washing her stuff tomorrow. And then once I can pick up another dresser, then I'll be able to take everything out of here. Um, this is making me super excited going through her stuff finally though. Like, I can't believe she's going to be here soon. Okay, so I managed to squeeze pretty much a good chunk of her clothes in here. And so, it obviously won't stay like this because how can you get to anything? You can't. But I just have all of her newborn stuff on the top and I need to wash them. And then the rest of her clothes just kind of go in, or at the bottom. All right, so we are back for round two of organizing the closet. I went to Target and I got another one of these plastic dressers. So I have this box here filled with clothes in the six months and up range, about six months to 12 months. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in this bottom drawer real quick. It's a little jam-packed in here, but these are all pants and the shorts and then the onesies are all at the bottom. It will obviously be a while before she fits into any of these clothes, so I'm not too worried about it looking too nice. As we won't be touching this drawer for at least six months. And then next in this pile, these are all three to six months onesies. And then these are all six months that are like strictly six months. No, anything that says like six to nine got put in here. So I'm going to put these as well with the shorts in this middle drawer here. So we got three to six onesies, six months onesies, then all of her shorts and all of her pants. And then as far as all of her newborn stuff goes, that is all in her bassinet because I need to wash those. Um, and anything that is swaddles and stuff are also in there. I only plan to start washing newborn stuff and swaddles, blankets, stuff like that. Anything that's like zero to three months, three to six months, I don't want to wash just yet because... You never know how big she's going to be or anything. And our baby shower is next week. Um, obviously, Alex wasn't in this video because I'm organizing and I wanted to have full control over the organization. Yeah, we've been absent on this channel for a little while and that's honestly because of COVID. Obviously, the the park shut down so we couldn't film anything there and uh we don't our life we feel like it's kind of boring so we didn't know what to film on the day to day and just lots of things were going on as i'm sure a lot of stuff was going on around that time in everyone else's life and so you can definitely 
look out soon for theme park content to come around soon as far as definitely HHN content um, I know for sure I want to start putting theme park content on here you'll see a couple more baby video type stuff I am going back and forth on whether or not I'm gonna post the labor we'll see how the labor goes and whether or not I post about it with that being said though we are very excited to be parents and even though we're young and the stigma of being young parents we are excited and very ready we wanted this but just if you're interested stay tuned subscribe you know this we'll find out together where this channel is going to go and i am so excited for the little one to just be here and hold her and i'm also always in a lot of pain now so i'm just <laughs> ready for her to get out <laughs> thank you for watching and i hope you are having a great day and enjoy life life is short so thank you and bye